Today, we are going to be using a Python hacking tool which is wicked fast to gather information on anyone in the entire world. It is called Sherlock and it is actually used by ethical hackers in the information gathering process known as OSINT. There is something fun about this tool as well. You can use this tool on any device in the entire world, even on your mobile phone using Google Cloud Shell. And I'm going to be showing you how to do that absolutely for free. So watch the video till the end to get to know more about it. So let's get started. Hey, disclaimer man. All right, all right, I'll do it. Jeez. Yeah, I guess I forgot about that. So this video is only for educational purposes. And I would advise you not to use the knowledge that you gain in this video to harm anyone else or to use it with any ill intent. But besides that, let's start hacking. So to start with, you can open your default web browser on whatever device you are on, either on your phone or your laptop. As soon as you have opened it, you have to open shell.cloud.google.com. Press enter and it will show you some page like this. If it does not show, you, uh, show some page like this, it will be showing some other page but it will ask you to sign in in your Google account because it is a Google provided service and everybody has an email email id who doesn't have one of those so i'm going to log into my email id and as soon as i've done that this kind of page will be showing up yeah this kind of page in which it will be optimizing everything for me and for you if you're doing this for the first time you might have some trust issues so you can you have to just trust everything and you have to move forward after you're done with the setup, you'll be shown with some page like this. Yeah, you'll be shown with some page like this in which your terminal has opened up. I'll just increase the size. Now, next what you have to do, you have to install Sherlock in this machine. So to do that, you can open another page and you can type Sherlock GitHub. Uh, whoops, spelling of GitHub is wrong. And if you click on this link, it'll get you to the GitHub page of Sherlock. So this is the developer page of Sherlock. And if you scroll a bit down, you'll be finding the installation, how to install Sherlock in your device. So all you have to do is you have to copy this command that is git clone and you have to paste it here, press enter. Now for me, Sherlock is already installed, but for you, it'll install everything right away. Then next it is telling me to change my directory to Sherlock that is CD Sherlock. So CD Sherlock and press enter. So I, I am in the Sherlock directory now. If I list everything, this is what the Sherlock directory contains. But I have to do one more thing which is I have to install all the requirements. So I have to install requirements.txt. Let's copy that and let's paste that in my terminal. For me it will be showing that yeah, as you can see, the requirements are already satisfied because I've already done this before. But for you, it'll install everything just fine. If you are having any problem, just write in the comment section down below and I'll reply it as soon as possible. Then next, uh, we can see the usage of Sherlock in this GitHub page itself. So as you can see here, we can use Python 3 Sherlock dash dash help. So we can use Python 3 Sherlock help. And it is, it'll show us all the commands of Sherlock that we can use to use this. So as you can see, we have usernames we can use. We have the version, we have verbose, we are having output, we are having tor. So there are many commands which you can use. So let's start with the most basic one, basic one that is Python 3 Sherlock. And then you can type any username in the world you want. Let's say Adi Chavla. which is my name. So it will be checking the username Adi Chavla on every social media website that is known to humankind. And 
if it finds that username it is going to display it to you so i have logged into all of these websites and you can get a ton of data from these so let's say you can get its Insta instagram id or its facebook id or snapchat or any other thing so let's say you're getting uh the id of chess.com so you know that guys plays chess so with this you can gather a ton of information on anyone you want so as you can see it has given me a lot of information right now roblox instagram hub pages gravatar flipboard fiverr facebook duolingo i don't know on what <laughs> what on else so it'll find that username adi chavla on every social media device that is known and i can stop that we can just stop that and then we can explore some of the other commands that Sherlock has to offer. So as you can see, when we press help, we can get a number of commands. So first one is the verbose command, which will display more information on what the uh, Sherlock, uh, the Sherlock program is doing on every single thing that it is doing. It is going to print it out with the verbose command. Then with the folder outboard command, we can use multiple usernames and the output of usernames will be saved in a folder. So we can write any folder name on along with that username with the flag folder output and it will save all the given results into that folder or that file. Next we have output. So if using a single name, the output of the result will be saved to this file. It is almost the same as folder output. Then Tor, this is an interesting one. So what Tor will do, it will make the requests over Tor so that nobody can, nobody can trace you looking up someone. So let's say you're looking up me or you're looking up any one of your friend and let's say somebody is behind your back. So usually this is used by OSINT and if anybody is behind their backs, they cannot trace whoever, whatever information they have gained. So that is what Tor is used for. I'll do a separate video on Tor on the dark web. So stay tuned for that. Then we have CSV. This is comma separate values or CSV file that you can see in uh, 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 Excel and you can see in Google, Google, Google Sheets. So this is that. And there are a lot of other commands that you can use. So yeah, so we exited out of that because there was taking some time. It will not take not more than 10 minutes for you to do that. So this is a basic overview on how you can use Sherlock. If you want, I leave the link to my blog of this same Sherlock tutorial in the description below, where you can find a much more detailed and a much more command based oriented article on Sherlock. And as I told you, you can use this method on any device you want. And I showed you how to run a Linux machine or a command line or a terminal in your web browser and you can also do this on your mobile device nothing is changed so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and if you have stayed put for, till this part of the video please like subscribe and share this channel as much as you can and i'll catch you guys next time